Hey, look! An old man is coming. Grandpa! Uh, who is calling? Grandpa! Uh, sound like some kids are calling me. Children, did you call me? Yes, Grandpa. What is the matter? Tell me. We haven't seen you here before, Grandpa. Can you please tell us where you live? I live far away from here. It is called Churanadu. That is where I live. That's my hometown. Grandpa, will you tell us a story? Ah, tell me what kind of story you want to listen. I know lots of stories. Shall I tell you a story of a king? Yes, please. Many, many hundreds of years ago, there was a king who was actually very good by heart. He wanted all his countrymen to be happy always and ever. He was determined to see and do that. Honorable Minister, is our all citizen of our country is happy or not? What are you thinking, Minister? Please answer me. If I say something that you don't like, you might get angry. Ha! Huh. There's a way out though. Uh, actually, in the olden days, good kings, all they do is hunt in the morning and during the evenings, they go to the city amongst the people and understand their grievances. <laughs> That's a good idea. My minister, I accept your suggestions. <laughs> to be the wife of a gardener in the palace is my wish. Even I wish to marry someone from the palace. Why are you not talking anything? Say something. Even I wish to marry a king so that I can become a queen. Who's there? What happened, my lord? Just on the eastern side of this fort, three ladies are living together. Tell them to come here immediately. Anybody in home? What? Raja has called you to the palace. Raja has said to accompany you. Yesterday night, you all were discussing about your three wishes. Just tell me what is that. I'll definitely do it for you surely. I want to marry the gardener of this palace. I want to marry someone who works from the palace. But I want to marry the king of this palace, which is you. Okay, go ahead and immediately do their wishes. Child is this? It looks so beautiful. What is this? Where is my kid? This is your child, which is next to you. It's not a child, it's a stone. Dear Lord, your wife has given birth to a stone. What? 
What you said? Minister, what are you coming to say? Hey, last year also, I got a child from exactly the same place and this is happening this year also. What? What are you saying, Minister? So my wife is not eligible to give birth for a human child? Don't worry, oh Lord. There are no problems that can't be solved. Is a human woman will give a birth to a stone or a wooden block or what? You both must be an example for how two brothers live. Purity of heart is the greatest wealth in this world. Don't ever doubt it. My children, I am counting my last days. Before I lose my breath, I have to tell you something which is very important. My dear children, I found you both in the same place with one years of difference. You, you both, both of you, you must find the, the secret for my sake. Oh Lord, I need a help from you. Our father told us that he found us in the same place in different years, sir. Please solve this mystery and help us. We will be grateful to you, sir. Just do one thing. In this forest and at the west side, there will be a special parrot in a tree. I hope that parrot will definitely help you. Yes, you're right. But how do you know? I know everything. I will definitely help both of you. Now bring the king of this kingdom to your house. That is the first thing you should do. Are you sure? Will it happen? Definitely it will happen. You should do everything according to what I say. Okay? Oh Lord, there are two boys who have come to see you. Okay. Tell them to come in now. What is your problem? Tell me without any hesitation. Oh my king, I think you will not be angry with me. Okay, tell me directly. What do you want? We want to invite you for lunch to our place. It has been our wish for many days. I hope you will come, my highness. Okay, I will definitely come. What is this? Will the human will take this kind of food? If a woman can give birth to a tree or a stone, then as a man, why can't you eat all this food and digest it? You are a smart king. Then how could you believe all those stories about your wife? It's because of my foolishness. I am really worried about the mistakes I have done. If you know everything, please tell me where is my wife now? Where is my children? Are they alive now? Just tell me everything. Due to God's blessings, your children are alive and safe. These two boys standing before you are your children. They are the children of your wife. Please tell me, where is my wife now? Your wife, the queen, lives in her old house. She is still there in her old house. Immediately, 
just do all the works to bring my wife directly to the fort. We'll take leave, Your Highness. Hello, who are you, dear? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mother, we are your children. We missed you so much. We are so happy to see you. My children? What are you saying? You have given birth to these children. They are your children. Your sisters got jealous of you. That is why they took away your children. Oh, my dear. Please forgive me. It's all because of my foolishness only. I don't know how to thank you for all these help. I have done whatever I could have. After they have found the secret, they lived happily for a long time. Children, did you like the story? Grandpa, the story is wonderful. Ah, that is good. Now tell me, what did you understand from the story? I'll tell you. Ah, yes, tell me. The truth will always prevail and a lie will be revealed someday, Grandpa. <laughs> Clever boys. My next story is going to be about a frog. Many years ago, by the side of a pond, a small frog was living. Do you know what happened one day? What a beautiful pond this is! Call me? Even I want to swim in the waters as beautifully as you. My request is that you teach me to swim just like you. Okay, I will teach you. But you have to suffer little bit. Oh, that is okay to swim like you. I would do anything in the world. First, listen to me how I swim. Now, you should try to swim like this. Oh, I feel so tired. I want to recuperate. Let's sleep for some time. I will surely teach you. But if you want to run really fast like me, you'll have to work really hard, my friend. Okay? I think I have learned to swim just as fast and as well as you. Now I want to run as swiftly as that rabbit. You have to learn so many things. You should suffer a lot to swim fast like me. I told you, right? Practice now. Look how I jump. you think you can jump as high as me? Don't be foolish. Start practicing. Because of these reasons, the frog was not able to swim 
or not walk or jump on the land. Shall I tell you what I have learned from the story? Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. Tell me. Let me listen to you. It is just not enough to be smart. One has to be committed to the work they have undertaken till the end. Yes. Now my next story is going to be about greed and greedy people's sufferings. My dear children, you must listen to it keenly. There was a sage. He was very different. He was a very good sage. What happened was... Where are you going, my friend? What happened to your horse? I met with an accident. My horse has been killed by the wolves. Just the tail part is alone remaining. Why don't you give me that tail? And wait for me too for some more time. I had left my horse for grazing. And I think it has lost its way now. Can you tell me? Any identification of your horse is it will run fast? My horse can run seven times the earth in just a day. And its beautiful fur looks like snow. Uh, in my place, how can your horse can come without my permission? Leave soon as possible. Uh, my legs are hurting. I can't walk anymore. For that there is a way. I will hold the tail. Why don't you sit in the horse? I should not find you near robbing my house anymore. Here you go. This horse is as good as the horse that you lost is what I am more than sure of. I am very thankful to you. What I have heard about you that you make people fool easily. You cannot make a brilliant man a foolish anymore. I am standing in front of you. Can you fool me? Just take a try to fool me. I cannot fool you, my friend. I think it is cloudy now. I think it is going to rain heavily today. <laughs> I have now successfully fooled you, my friend. Children, whatever your status may be, mistakes could happen. When you think that you are the most intelligent, you will be easily cheated. And that is what he has made us understand from the story. And I think you also understand that. Am I right? Ah, there is another important thing. That is very, very important for life. Listen to your elders. If you don't follow what elders say, you will get into a lot of trouble. You will understand that well from the story that I am going to tell you now. In the forests of Minichuram, your horse and its young one were living. Mom, I have become a big horse now, so can I go out and see the world on my own? Now also you are so small. Even you can't save you from the wild animals. Still, it is okay. If you are so much interested, you can go out and spend some time. Come soon. Don't go so far. You should not do anything unfamiliar. Okay, Mom. On one side, I have grown up. I am a big horse now. Not only that, I am brave too. What could that be? Let me go and see it now. What? This looks like a sack. Let me open it and see what is inside. Oh, no, it's me. been a long leave time. Me. I haven't leave eaten me. a horse. Now me. I'm feeling much hungry. Oh no! What do we do now? We have to save that horse. Oh. 
Ah, oh, I have an idea. Uh huh. So today you're going to fill up your stomach by eating this little horse. Yes, you are exactly right. Okay, tell me what is inside that sack. Few farmers has tied me inside that gunny bag because I kill their goats. Oh ho! I haven't eaten for a long time. Being inside that gunny bag, I was struggling to breathe. At that time, only a little horse helped me to escape from that gunny bag. Also, it is ready to give a tasty and a delicious food for me. And the food is this little horse only. Yes, yes. But I. Don't understand something. How did an intelligent and strong fox like you get stuck in this big sack? Tell me, my friend. Ah uh ha! -huh. Do you think I am lying to you? Huh? Yes, you're lying. If you want me to believe you, you have to get inside that sack again. How do I know if you're telling the truth? Not only that. If you prove it to me, I promise I will let you eat me. Come on now. Without wasting any more time, get back into the sack, my friend. After that, you can eat this horse and me as well. So I'm gonna eat a tasty little rabbit also. Thank you so much. I'm grateful to you. I'm indebted to you for the rest of my life. I really wish I had listened to my mother. My dear children. We should always listen to our elders and act accordingly. And the reason is, what they say is out of their own experience. So you must listen to your elders and follow their words properly, so that you can live safely. Their advice initially may feel bitter, but it'll bring you a lot of goodness. Ah, the next story is. I mean, this story is for all the kids like you. You all must listen to this. My friend, how about we go to the south of the forest today? Oh no, it's a dangerous way to go on. Why is that? Oh friend, there are dangerous animals there. We can't survive if we fear all of them. Let's go. You shouldn't cut the tree. It is very dangerous. Who's going to see us here? Oh friend, look there. There is a bunch of grapes. Let me have a taste of it. I cannot climb all the way up the tree just to eat grapes. You go ahead if you want. Oh, I cannot see him anywhere here. Oh my friend, why are you so sad? Why are you not eating something? God's blessing is with you. God has given a food to eat for you. A god can only do that, right? It is not possible for the god to come and feed you. It is our job. We have to do it. But you didn't. Oh friend, can we grow that cattle so that we can get milk and we can live happily? That's right, my friend. Hey, why don't we split the business half? So what? We should have our calculations for everything. Whatever we buy from now should be accounted. Okay. How about we split the cow into two? Oh, if we divide the cattle, the cattle will be died. Oh, not like that. The half of the cow belongs to you, and the other half belongs to me. That means you take the first half from the head, and the other half belongs to me. Not done yet. The cow's mouth eats the grass, so you have to feed it every time. Okay, I will feed the grass. Oh God. You have given me such a fool as a friend. You are the greatest. My friend, from my half part of the cow, I am taking milk. That is why 
The milk is mine and mine only. Okay, I am all right with that. Hey, what's in your hand? This is a sheet. Like we said earlier, this sheet belongs to both of us, my friend. If we tear it into two, nobody can use it. And that's why we can do one thing. This sheet belongs to you in the morning and I'll use it at night. Do you agree? I should not close my eyes believing him. Yeah, that is the one idea. I think you should sleep in this cow shit. Damn, it's full of cow dung. How can I sleep in it? In morning, the blanket will be mine only. Whatever I will do with the blanket, it doesn't matter you. I think he understood all my tricks. My friend, please forgive me. I should not have betrayed such a good friend of mine ever. I have never thought a third person like you. So only I believed you, whatever you said. Now, what I did to you, you should realize the mistake, what you have done with me. By the way, isn't that a plant in estate? Yeah. Come, let's go there. Wow, it is such a beautiful garden. God has shown the way for us. How about we stay here for some days? There is no need of it. We will collect all the bananas from here. We will take to the home. Who is that? Oh my god, that must be the owner of the estate. Let's go. Oh god, someone has stolen all my bananas from this garden. Oh my god, it is a result of my so many days. Those guys spoiled it in a short time. The farmer you see, all the hard work he has been put out is all waste now. I think whatever we have done this to him, it's very embarrassing. Let's do one thing. Sir, I request you to forgive us. Tough situations in our lives have forced us to do such a wrong thing. Oh, I haven't seen you guys before here. We came from nearby village. We are such in a job. But still it is a wrong to steal another person's property. But still you people are so honest that you have brought the bananas back to me. Sir, do you think you can get us some job here? Sure. Even I was also like you only. In this village, there is a rich man who is our leader. He only gave this agriculture land to me. Oh, where are you staying right now? Over there only. You can see a big fort. He is living there only. Oh friend, the luck is favor to us. Let's move on. Who are you? I don't know you. We have come from the neighboring village looking for a job. Sir, I have heard about you that you help many poor peoples. Okay, I will help you. So thankful to you. I will not forget this help in my lifetime. How about we do plant and farming like the gentleman we met earlier? It doesn't matter what job we do. We should not spend money just like that. Any rich man can, can be just poor, just a second. Till we earn a permanent money, we should not buy costly clothes, ornaments, you promise me. Okay, my friend. First, we have to divide this money into two. After that, we have to buy two acres of land and do agriculture in there. Let's see who earns money more. What is the use of money other than spending? I have to save money as I can. Now, my friend is also living happily without any discomforts. Oh my god, please give me something. Oh friend, what happened to you? If I had listened to you earlier, I would not have been in this situation.
Oh friend, we can pluck the leaves from this tree. We can prepare food. It will be so tasty. The leaves of small trees are no more. The food is so tasty with the leaves in it. What you have done with you? You did the same with the tree. Till the tree is are not grown full. You should not pluck the leaves as I said. Same you did in the money matter also. Whatever we earn, we should spend like that only. You got it? Once upon a time there was a squirrel living in a forest. It was very arrogant. It neither spoke to the fellow squirrels nor other small animals. He never speaks to them. An elephant by the name of Shankarangutti was his friend. He speaks only to him. You know what happened? The squirrel was on the back of the Shankarangutti elephant and was having a happy ride. Hey, my friend. I wanted to tell you something very important. All of this will not happen, Uncle. Don't worry unnecessarily. My best friend is an elephant from a big family. The elephant is strong. I don't need you to be my friend. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep in the Hey, shut up. Stop barking. I'll just kick you. You be careful. Don't think that you can always sit on an elephant. Once you get down, we are only friends for you. Absolutely no need. If I trust you and come along with you, I will not even get a drop of water. Oh, get down. You've been sitting on my head for a long long time. Once you are in a danger, to safeguard you, a little one only will come. Oh, please forgive me. I will never tease you again in my life. Please leave me. Don't harm me. Please, please save me. Buddy, always remember one thing. Even if you are in the company of big people, you should never forget your status. You should always have friends similar to you, and that's the best idea. Just get out from here now. Ha. <sighs> My dear children, did you like all the stories I told you today? Whatever morals you have learned from these should be followed in your life. You will live happy and safely. You must always be happy, you see. Understand? Yes, grandpa. Ah. It's been quite a while. I have to go back home now. You can stay with us, grandpa. Please don't go. We will surely miss you. Ah. No, it is okay. If you remember this granddad and the morals you have learned, I'll be very happy.